Well, the late shows, the comedy networks, the reality shows featuring comedians over the last 14 years. Jamie Lisso, he's, this guy has done it all. He's got a few irons in the fire right now, so it's cool that, as he just did, could make time for us. Jamie's at the Funny Bone all weekend with Rob Schneider. Good to see you. Nice to have Jamie. you back. It was Great August. You were here in August, right? Mm -hmm. I was here in August, yeah. We need to catch up with you because there were some big developments that well, happened since then. We were, we're keeping talk secrets. You were keeping secrets. There was I was. Netflix, um, what... You had this the show that you were doing, and you were trying to. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm so glad you said up. Netflix. I almost told you a totally different secret. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, so they picked it up, but Netflix picked this up. How's it going? They did. We sold the show to Netflix, and I kind of knew that back then mm -hmm. when I was talking to you guys. I'm sorry I lied. That's okay. You just couldn't say anything because legally have. you were obligated to keep I the was, secret. I was, but still I lied, and uh -huh. uh, I lied about some other stuff too in that interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to apologize for all of it right you now. You went back and watched it, didn't you? I yeah, did. What you said. Well, we were I, did, I did go watch I it. I tweeted the clip, and then he wrote me back, thank you, by the way, for the reply. Um, but I'm like, you were so funny. And then to see you acting, I'm like, that's kind of you in real life. It didn't seem like that much of a stress, like yeah, your personality think, or disposition. Yeah, which I think, Mary, that's an insult. No, but here you uh, are. Here Hold on, wait. Here you are, this scene. This is part of the trailer, in case our viewers have not watched, you know, all episodes of Bill Rob. Of all phobias. So set this up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the suit? Oh, yeah. This was the point. This was the point of a lot of discussion online. Whether you that was really there? you falling down the stairs. It's not me in the suit. Mm -hmm. It's a stunt man. <laughs> what happened was there. There's a famous character in our show named Diggle Biggle, who's like this 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 bear that Rob's daughter loves, but he's really expensive to get to come to a party. So there's this other guy. A knockoff. His name's like Diggle Boogle or something. I can't remember. <laughs> and this guy's like way cheaper. So we hire the guy that's way cheaper, uh -huh. and he's also available. Uh -huh. And so, but he comes to the house. We're like, where is this guy? We run outside. He's come to the house, and he's drunk in his car out in front of the house. Mm -hmm. So Rob is making me get in the bear mm -hmm. suit, right, right, right. and I just happen to be claustrophobic. Just like he made you get a vasectomy, so yeah. that he knew what it was like. I'm like, where do you guys come up with this stuff when you were writing it? Some of it must be inspired by real life, but then there's other stuff, yeah. no way, yeah. And I play like a, this idiot assistant, and so it was really cool, because I didn't even get a script every yeah. day. They would just hand me a piece of paper that said, be yourself, right. and I would just do that. <laughs> but how, uh, how, much the, how, many, uh, how many episodes are there? Eight episodes. Eight. Are they, were they all written prior to the to Netflix picking it up, or do you do the pilot yeah. and then you write the rest? How does that they work? were not only written, but the entire series was filmed before Netflix picked it up. Wow. This was Rob's intention oh, wow. from the get go was to to kind of say like, hey, I would like to be the I'd like to be the casting director. I'd like to be the writer, the director, and I don't I you know I've been doing comedy for a long time. I don't need any notes. I'm gonna and so if you just film it all. They can't say, hey, could you change that scene? Right, We're right. like, we don't think we can. We don't even know that guy's phone number anymore. <laughs> you have to just go with it the way it is. That's what we got. We got yeah, we, got. we don't even know that's, that guy. But that's unusual that it works out that way. It's so it? unusual that I'm not even sure it's been done. In, it's definitely not been done in this capacity before, what Rob Schneider has done, which mm -hmm. is a comedian that wrote and directed and filmed his own thing. Maybe like a web series or something. I don't yeah. think it's ever been done like this. But your relationship, you worked with Rob uh, quite a bit though. H how did you guys get together and, and how long have you been working together? So we've been working together for probably, man, like six years, I think. Oh my God. And uh, we got together, I was opening for him uh -huh. at this comedy show and it was this benefit. I used to be a radio guy. Yeah. I used to do morning radio in Rochester, New York. Yeah. Like, a, like a funny radio program? Like yeah, it was supposed shock to be. Shock it was stuff, supposed, or was to supposed to be. Funny? <laughs> and uh, it was mild shock. Josh? Yeah. It was more like well, vibrating. Okay. Um, and I ended up, I quit doing radio in Rochester, New York because like one day I woke up and I was like, you're doing radio in Rochester, New York. <laughs> and so I stopped doing it. And I was doing a benefit for, for like uh, Rob was doing a benefit show. I opened for him. You guys, I, I went up after, there was an improv group. And if you, you know, the improv, you ever, I don't know if you've ever seen improv. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did it last week. Yeah. Did you guys do we it? We weren't and very good at it. No? It's, it's hard. It's hard, and mm -hmm. so I got to go up after this improv group at this theater, and I feel like if, in, if when you die and go to heaven, if there's a heaven and there's comedy, I feel like you get to follow an improv group. <laughs> <laughs> like, you look good, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's By what I'm saying. You look yeah, good. I feel like if there's a club in heaven, they go, hey, the improv group's on, you're on in a minute. <laughs> and so I went up and it was just like, it's just so much easier because it's so, or stand-up comedy, right. so I'm prepared, I'm organized. Right. They were coming up with all of it off the top of their heads. And so I hear this guy, every joke, this guy's laughing off stage, really loud, one guy. And I get <laughs> off stage. During your bit. During my yeah. bit. And I walk off stage. It is Rob Schneider. Nice. 
Like, and that was it. <laughs> and I was <laughs> starstruck. Uh -huh. And so now you're working with this guy all the time. Your buddies. Right? He's yeah. been in the business for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And to now... It's you know, crazy. Six years later. And I don't awesome. want people to think all I do is stuff with Rob Schneider. I mean, I do have my own things going. <laughs> you do a lot of stuff. Like I what? Do. Like do what? Like, well, you can read about it all on my website, robschneidersfriend.com. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Do you, you, last time you were also working on a couple of movies. That's good. Yeah. When you were here, but I don't know if any of those, I feel like we can't trust you when you say, I don't, yeah, things might come, and then the yeah. next thing we know. Pretty much half the things I'm saying just aren't even true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of secrets. Okay, here's we're the, writing here's the movie. <coughs> yeah, go ahead. We're still writing the one movie I think I talked to you about before. We ended up actually getting a really funny guy to do to, to like have a session with us, and and we wanted. We were just so we got really busy because uh -huh. with the show, <laughs> and so we ended up like putting a lot of things off. And then uh -huh. Rob's been, you know, he's always busy, but he's been busy. He has it's a been new. Nuts. Oh uh, yeah, the ridiculous six come out on Netflix yeah. with Adam Sandler yeah. and all those other guys and uh, David Spade and Vanilla Ice and Harvey Keitel and uh, you know, and then he also has a, an animated movie coming out in a week or something or. And well, then he, his daughter is all over the radio. Uh, she's going to be in yeah. town next okay. week. Uh, no, is it next week or the next month? It's next month. Uh, don't, next month. Don't uh, a couple weeks. So I just heard someone yell February from one um, in the back. I wish that person would yell that in my shows real life. Two shows tonight both sold out. <laughs> two shows tomorrow yeah. both sold out. You got to go Sunday. Sunday. If and you want to see Jamie tickets and Rob. are uber limited, and we're not trying to lie to you. We just want you to know if you no. want to see Jamie and Rob. So Rob's opening up for you, and then you'll yeah, headline. So we'll be doing that. Um, yeah. You can call the Bone Phone if you'd like to go on Sunday, or visit FunnyBoneOmaha.com to get your tickets. Good to see you. By the way, Jamie. Uber, were you just saying that made me think? Uh, you know, they you say they do background checks. Uh -huh. I think what they mean by that is they just look in the background. <laughs> <laughs> While they're interviewing the guy, okay. I'm not sure they really. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Good to see you guys. Um, Great time, guys. Congratulations. Right, see you soon. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. A lot of success. All right, as we've said.